Hey, everybody. Um, for those of you that are signed in, really appreciate you taking the time today. Uh, we just signed a second earn-in agreement with Nevada Gold Mines. Um, really exciting at our Carl and East project. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through that today. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the president and CEO of Ridgeline Minerals. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to walk through the deal terms a little bit, show you why uh, NGM is excited about the project. And um, and yeah, we're hoping to uh, get some new drill holes into this project uh, in the future here soon. So a little quick uh, disclaimer, I am a geologist, so I'm going to try to um, paint within the lines here a little bit today. But um, we're really excited about the potential at Carlin East, and um, I think you'll see why in a second. So before we get into that, let's talk about the deal structure. So for anyone that's familiar with the company, you know that we did a $30 million US deal with Nevada Gold Mines at Swift in 2021. We've been having a lot of success there. Um, they're doing spending a lot of money. They're hitting gold. Um, and we've tried to duplicate that structure with our Carl and East deal. So what does that mean? The main takeaways here, just like it's Swift, we receive 100,000 US on signing, $4.5 million needs to be spent for 60% ownership of the project in the first five years, of which 1.5 million is guaranteed in the first two years. Um, this is the same structure as we did at Swift. They have already well spent well over their minimum spending requirements of the Swift project, and we hope that they'll do the same here at Carlin East. Um, there's a second earn in option where they can spend 5 million US for an additional 10%. This has us at just under $10 million in total spend uh, to earn a 70% interest. Now, the most important part of this entire deal, though, is the development option. We've structured our deals with both projects in a way that if this, there's a major discovery that happens on this project, we would retain a 25% fully carried interest to first gold pour. And for anyone that's you know seen a junior be part of a major discovery um, and then get diluted out or, or have to raise million, tens of millions of dollars to meet their earn in requirements um, as part of a joint venture, we've eliminated that on the back end of this deal. So um, what this allows us to do is we're able to participate in a meaningful way in future discovery on this project. We've lowered overhead and risk associated with the deep drilling that goes into making a big discovery on a project like Carl and East. And at the same time, if a discovery is made, I think it's a game changer for the company. So um, really gonna hit that home. You know, when you talk about why Ridgeline, not only do we now have $40 million US in deals across the two projects um, and potential expenditures, um, we also have our Selena CRD discovery. We're gonna be drilling that starting in late July. We're really excited about the potential there and that could be a major company making project in its own right. But again, we still retain these fully carried interests on the back end at both of these projects. We view them essentially as lottery tickets at this point, um, you know, and, and we think that we have the right team exploring for it, Nevada. So going back just to kind of touch on our business model here as well, um, you know, things have continued to, I guess you could say, we've continued to evolve as a company, right? We started out as a pure explorer, 100% ownership of all projects. And what I really wanna highlight is, you know, I think in my time as a CEO, you realize that, you know, you need to find partners on some of these deep expensive projects. And that's what we've done at Swift and Carlin East. So when we talk about our pipeline and partner projects, what we're doing is we're continuously bringing in new projects like Bell Creek for, or Big Blue, for example, which is a copper play that we uh, announced earlier this year that would fall in as a pipeline project. Now, our partner projects, Swift and Carl and East, we felt that these were too expensive and too risky to use hard to come by shareholder dollars um, to advance 100%, which is why we did these deals. We're advancing our uh, you know, potential of making discoveries at any one of these projects, and it allows us to kind of leverage barrack spending and their expertise in Nevada, and hopefully be a part of a major discovery. Then that points out here, our Selena project, right? Selena is now a discovery. We're on the way to advancing this project to a maiden resource. This program in July that we're gonna be doing will move us in that direction. And the idea is, is eventually, hopefully we sell the darn thing, right? We're not interested in putting into production. We wanna make discoveries, sell them off to the right partners and then move forward. So just to rem remind everyone, where is Carlin East? We're sitting right in the Carlin trend, right? We have two deals now with Swift, and Carl and East, both in Nevada gold mines hands. And we've been able to retain 100% ownership of the Bell Creek project, which sits right beside um, a 1.6 million ounce resource that's also owned by Nevada gold mines. So let's get into it here. We'll go through the Carl and East project. As we mentioned, 9.6 million earn in agreement. We've already gone through this earn in style here. So here's what I wanna point out. 
you can see in bright green, this is the Carl and East project. This is the portion of Carl and East that we optioned off to Nevada Gold Mines directly on trend of the Fallon discovery, which used to be called North Leeville. That's over 1 million ounces of 11.3 grams per ton gold. That would have ranked it as one of the highest grade underground resources anywhere in Nevada. You move this project up along, or you move that discovery up along the main fault zone, it cuts right across potentially our project. And that's why I think Nevada Gold Mines is excited. On top of that, we have 100% ownership of the Bell Creek project, which right, sits right beside the Wren resource. And we retained 100% ownership of the Coyote project, which is the on-trend extension of the Carlinese project. So there's still lots of potential here. A discovery gets made by, by Nevada Gold Mines at Carlinese. There's potentially more deal, deal flow, good leverage for us moving forward. We're going to get into the 3D here quickly. And again, really pointing out, this is one of the most endowed districts anywhere in the world, right? Per square kilometer, um, I don't know if there's anywhere that has more gold anywhere on the planet. You see all these in red. These are all owned deposits owned and operated by Nevada uh, Nevada Gold Mines, which is the joint venture between Barrick and Newmont. These are all hosted. It's really important to point out all along the post fault, right? Most of that mineralization all along the post fault. The Four Corners Fault, which is this guy right here, is the mirror image to the post fault. And you actually have Leeville and what is now the Fallon discovery right here, sitting right on trend of that fault. And this is why Nevada Gold Mines is interested in the project. They see that potential. There is potential, I think, with time to see a similar trend of pearls on a string deposits the same way that you see over here. You can see that on the four corner side as well. The difference is it's considerably deeper. These faults have dropped it down deeper which makes an expensive and very risky target to test, which is why we brought in these partners. Here's the uh, Fallon discovery as it sits right now, as you can see, directly on trend. This is Fallon right here, directly on trend of the Leeville Turf Mine, which is more than a 10 million ounce high grade underground deposit. Um, some of the intercepts that they're hitting are just crazy, right? Back in 2020 and 2021, they've hit up to 42 meters, 33 grams per ton gold. Those are world-class intercepts hosted right along this fault zone, which we believe we've mapped and shown geophysics trend right up onto our project. So if you zoom in and look at this in 3D, again, you have the Fallon discovery, previously called North Leeville right here. They had another drill intercept, 56 meters of 28 grams per ton, all hosted within this fault block here. All the ground for four kilometers, three and a half kilometers between Fallon and our project are all owned by Nevada Gold Mines. We are the only group that holds a material interest in a Carlin Trend property within this Leeville corridor. So the end, the property boundaries right here. Previously, we drilled one hole in 2021. For those of you that follow the company, that was a very painful drill hole. Cost over a million dollars for a single drill intercept. And we didn't even get the full test of the target, right? This is the target right here, the shallower block of rock. We drilled on the other side of this fault zone. We hit deeper rock. We still hit the right host rocks, but we didn't hit much gold. If we zoom in, here's what this looks like looking right down the four corners fault. So the target sits right here, right? We want to drill through this fault zone and test that target. Now, what we need to do with Nevada Gold Mines is what they can provide is their experience in this trend. Um, they know how to get holes down to depth. They're drilling them right now at the Fallon Discovery to the southeast. And we want to see them come in, drill across this fault zone, and test for that down drop mineralization right here. If they hit, they could be hitting, we're talking about the same types of intercepts, right? Tens of meters um, up to multi-ounce per ton gold. That's the target we're going after. And this could be a game-changing discovery for us if our partners at Nevada Gold Mines can get some holes down and really test this thing. So um, that's Carl and East. That's the long and short of it, right? I mean, this is why we're doing these deals. We're focusing our energy into, um, you know, focusing our energy into the Selena Big Blue projects, projects that are very, I think, fundable and it's things that we can advance ourselves. And we're letting the big boys like Nevada Gold Mines come in, drill these really deep, expensive and high risk holes. And if they pan out, we hold a material interest in the project. So again, just to kind of reiterate the deal structure at our SWIFT project, same structure, right? A little bit bigger spend, 20 million for 60, additional 10 million for 10% for a total of 30 million US to earn 70. And we retain that same carried interest on the back end. So when you look at the SWIFT property, 
here just because I want to kind of highlight this deal with Nevada Gold Mines. It isn't just about Carlin East, right? It's about the fact that we're building a partnership with the largest gold producer in Nevada, directly adjacent to known mineral resources and infrastructure. And we're trying to make discoveries and move these projects forward. And I think that's what's really exciting about the deal today. You look at the SWIFT project. Here we go. We're looking at the Cortez district. And the same thing, right? We're looking downtrend. They're drilling a bunch of holes. They drilled three holes here in 2020. Every single hole hit gold, including 52 meters of 0.12 grams gold. Kilometer away, they drilled 48 meters of half a gram gold. Those are significant intercepts. They're low grade, but they show that you're onto a major system there. They're going to be drilling additional holes at SWIFT starting um, later this month. And they're targeting the same kind of targets as Pipeline, Cortez Hills, Four Mile and Gold Rush, which are all the way along this trend. So we're really excited about the potential at SWIFT as well. That's going to see immediate drilling. Um, whereas Carlin East, right, this deal is just getting done. We have to do a handoff of the projects. I don't anticipate material expiration probably until 2024, once NGM has had a hand, chance to get this, their feet under them here at the project. But we're seeing drilling immediately starting at SWIFT, and they're already ahead of the game. They already have multiple intercepts, and they're starting to vector into hopefully higher grade mineralization. So this inter er, section right here just shows all of Barrick's Q4 what they call tier one expiration targets in Nevada. The only project not owned by Nevada gold mines is right here at Swift, right? That's hundred percent owned by Ridgeline until NGM spends a minimum of $20 million um, of which they've only spent about 5 million so far. So lots of upside here. We're really excited about our, our growing partnership with Nevada gold mines. And um, yeah, just wanted to keep it real quick and dirty. I appreciate your time. And uh, if anyone has any questions, please let me know.